Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Us Plays, Stellaris, Utopia, Banks, 1.5. Us is me, uh, Benjamin Magnus, Nems, Roach, Aldrahill, and Prussian Prince, aka Canada. Say hi, gentlemen. <laughs> Poor Canada. <Hello. laughs> hi, everybody. <laughs> the first thing okay. I'm going to do, let's let's just unpause this and leave it on normal for a hot second. The first thing I'm cool. going to do is, because now I know how to do this, is go to Species and set the rights for my funguses so that... <laughs> My fungus people have full citizenship. <laughs> You're grunting yes, citizenship everyone. fun guy? He reads the comments through osmosis. He doesn't actually read <laughs> yeah. them, but he understands. He feels the emotion of the comments. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, it's what it was, a sodium potassium pump. It just gets there eventually, it just balances out. Uh, oh, and for so everyone watching my uh, view, this may look a bit different than the last video you've seen. That's because there's been a half hour worth of progress since the last time recorded footage was uploaded to the channel. Uh, <laughs> that may or may not be because of a, uh, a certain screen that uh, is of a primary color. Also known as a whoopsie. Oh, I can, I can impoverish my slaves. Ooh. Mm, but right uh, now we'll just leave it there. Um, and they're set to the cast system. I'm building so many things. This is actually going really well for me. Maybe. Mm, yeah, let's uh, let's downgrade them. They don't need. I don't care if they're happy or not. Oh no, this so is happiness is not relevant. No, it really isn't. Well met. <laughs> I like that. I don't know so... what we were doing. So you're the. Cordycepians? Yes, I'm a race of funguses. And then who else is uh, nearby here? Uh, ben, uh, the plural is fungus high. Fungi. I know, I know it's fungi. fungi. I know, I'm fully fungi. well aware. <laughs> but see the older fish unity there in the east of the galaxy. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're doing all right. We're having so much fun as a hive mind. Who, uh, who's Prussian? Canada. I am Canada. Oh, he's Canada. He'll, he'll never meet him. <laughs> He lives alone. I know. I know. I think I know where he's at. He's he's northeast of Ben. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You should be able to see him fine. Um, first thing that uh, the Prussian did when he saw me was he looked at me, saw that I was inferior in strength to him, and goes, "I'm going to attack him." Oh wait, I'm a fanatic pacifist. <laughs> no, no. What I said is that I'm tempted to attack you, but I know I can't. Uh. <laughs> it's oh, that was, that was funny though. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Aren't you like a fungus that infects creatures or some shit? I, I am a, yeah, I'm, my race oh, you're the, that is one, the a bear fungus one. that uh, infects other creatures and then, you know, co-ops their bodies to make them do what I want. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, you can't have my star charge stems. <laughs> Let your people see. Yes, I see. Let I my can people see. see. Oh, man, the, the artisan trope are just disgusting. They're just, like giant brains. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. <laughs> Well, that's oh, not how that works. Um, mesmerizing. Not how any of this works. Didn't Ew. you play like four hours yesterday? Like immediately before. The... Shut up. You be quiet, you. Just, you expect me to be competent, and I don't know why you think <laughs> that's a thing. I mean, I you know, I have a lot of faith in like the general ability of people. <laughs> Specifically, not so much. So I'm a I'm a militarist spirit fanatic spiritualist. That's a weird combo. You just you're, want to enforce your religion. You're, you're Catholics from the 1400s. <laughs> That's literally <laughs> the ethics of the race I played yesterday in the multiplayer stream. Oh, shit, I'm dying on food. Upgrade you. I'm just wow. trying to get myself back into into the swing of things here because I don't remember what was going on. Yeah, a little bit. Same here. I have a lot of planets. You can, oh, you can tell in my single player series where there where there's breaks in recording sessions because there'll be like seven episodes in a row that start with, you know, blah, 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 blah. This is exactly what happened last time. And I'll give like a 15 second synopsis of what happened in the last episode. And then there'll be one episode where it's like, hello, everybody. I'm Benjamin Banks. Thanks for, uh, you know, watching. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, last episode, I don't remember what we did. <laughs> Things definitely happened. Events transpired. Get them, boys. I have the maximum Ooh. amount of leaders. Is that a pirate fleet with cruisers in them? Oh, God. No, don't attack them. Don't attack them. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get oh, back, God. Back. No. Why? Why now? No. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. 
Oh, I forgot to combine my destroyers. Ah, yeah. You should Here's all be slaves. Can that be bad? Oh, I finished the infinity machine thing. Oh, what'd you get? Let's see. The answer is, of course, thank you, little ones. The universe is fast, yet so small. Let's calculate infinity. There's one thing to do now. No, truth, farewell. Glad we could help. This is... Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! L How exciting. Li literally nothing happened. <laughs> Wait, the ball is going... Is it moving? I can't tell. The ball's moving. To the where? Inside, it's moving inside of the black hole. Oh, Wait, what? He's just, just, just gonna go. You destroyed it. No, that's slowly going into the black hole. P pull it out. Absolute. Oh, oh, pull it out. Pull it out. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. All right, now it's that's inside. It. A, oh. oh, oh, another pop up. <clears throat> okay, it disappears into Gargantua. Uh. uh. The black hole begins to fluctuate. It takes in less light and swirls of matter are being sucked down into it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The black hole shrinks. Uh, unfitting of its name, uh, we now dub it uh, Pan... Tegruel? Pontegruel? Pa pa Pontegruel. We renamed it from uh, Gargantua to Pontegruel. Within Pontegruel, uh, one can gaze into a mirror universe. The other end of the black hole, just one beginning. The Infinity Machine has shown us the truth of black holes are wombs, the universe, their offspring. Oh, interesting. Uh, Gargantua, physics data 10, so, uh, society data 10, engineering data 10. Constructing a station oh, in Gargantua's orbit grants the Empire not a modifier the mirror of knowledge. Following effects, all research speed 10%. Okay, that's oh, pretty that massive. Was, then. That was actually pretty cool. The uh, When I clicked off of that, the... Um, uh, the, the the black hole exploded in like reduced in size. Sounds like you gained a lot. Uh, yeah, that was All pretty right. cool. I just I had to wait for it to like finish finish its ex excruciatingly slow, um, l like dive into the center of the the black hole. <laughs> well, it's all that time dilation. If Stargate no, has so, taught so, us so. anything, <laughs> yeah. Stargate, Andromeda, Star Trek, anything with the word star or, you know. Anybody ever watch Andromeda? <laughs> Sorry. That show sucked. Oh, God, are you talking about that, like, goofy... Like, it's like it was almost like, uh, What did it remind me of, like, Hercules in space? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there was a projection. But didn't it have the same dude? Didn't it have Kevin Corbin or whatever? Yeah, I think so. No, it didn't. Didn't have Kevin Sorbo in it. No, it, it's, uh, it had the Didn't same. Didn't have guy. a really young Jason Moaba or whatever. Moaba no, or whatever his name is. No, that was at, that was Atlantis, a Stargate Atlantis that had Jason Moaba. Oh, who was in? No, that I, re I remember. I remember it. It had a guy that was going to be in Stargate at one point because Michael Shanks was there because that was the first thing he was on. Uh, and then he went on to play Daniel Jackson in SG One. And then uh, the guy who went on to play uh, the second. Starring team. Kevin Sorbo. God damn it. Don't tell me I'm wrong when I'm right. It's no. <laughs> Starred him. He was the captain. He was a main character in that show. <laughs> Can't be. Uh, Roach. <laughs> Roach was wrong about something. I haven't I had water for a week. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like loser talk to I me. Need, I don't need your excuses. <laughs> Let me tell you, you oh, haven't hit rock bottom until you've had to brush your teeth with the aid of a canteen. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, it's an experience. I remember when my... Uh... My, my my mother and my stepfather uh, they built a kind of like a like a cabin out in the out in the woods as their like retirement home, and um, uh, then sold their both their houses and moved into it before construction was completed. And I was living with them at the time uh, because I was like nineteen or something like that. And um, there wasn't like proper electricity or you know running water for like ten days. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> Yeah, I beat the pirates. Woo! Steal their cruisers. 
Yeah, they, they actually did have a cruiser, which is weird. Touch them in their happy place. <clears throat> um, well, they're pirates, so that would be their wallet. Mm, fair. <laughs> their coin purse? Oh, that, that sounds dirty again. It does. So, yeah, yeah, we're back there again. <laughs> so so we're right going to write that started. one down for D&D. I'm going to keep that innuendo in my pocket. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh. I cannot. Oh, oh. I, I, I'm super looking forward to Aces and Aids. I'm also oh, extremely God. looking forward to next week's uh, D&D Roach. I can't wait to see what you guys do. Oh, well, I mean, obviously, we're inside of a tunnel that's uh, disused and no one knows about, so we just sleep there, double back we're inside of the uh, the place, and burn it down. That way we get our horses <laughs> back. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure the first plan was like, let's just do a recon and see what's there. No, oh, let's burn it down. Although I gotta give you guys credit, you did manage to uh, talk your way into a situation where you managed to assassinate the the orc war chief without too much trouble. <laughs> I like that. That that's what's getting us kudos. You didn't murder everybody as soon as you got there. Good job. <laughs> you, you didn't murder everybody as soon as you got there. You just murdered the head of the place a little bit later. Uh, to be fair, he he put his hands on me first. You were goading him. I was told to. Analyzed. Uh, what, what, the little voices in your head? <laughs> no, by my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. Although, I must say, that that was fun, but having to run two, uh, two PCs during a, like, mini-boss encounter when there was, like, eight enemies on the screen at one point was a little infuriating. Get used to it. Complete. Dance, uh, GM monkey. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, about that. Anyone open to going to a faster speed? Oh, yeah. I forgot we were on normal. Sorry. All right. All righty. Let's see. What is this? What are you? My mm. science ship could be out doing more science-y things. We'll do that. Ooh, I like that I'm researching cheaper war demands. <laughs> be <laughs> chill. <laughs> why, why bother? Yeah, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> hey, Fallen Empire, give me your planets. But more. Ooh. What is... I've never seen this before. Chemical Bliss. Deep tissue implants are the latest yeah, innovation cool. in the revolutionary overlapping of sensory and, uh, engineering... Oh, give me that back. Uh, <laughs> and entertainment experience. We... Uh, where we're going, we don't need skin to feel. I don't know what that means, but we're doing it. <laughs> we're going to be a race of... of dr drug-addled... Uh, like... cannibal... not cannibalistic, but... Uh, 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 carnivore. What the fuck did you get cannibalistic? Yeah. Car carnivore. <laughs> I was going for carnivore and it came out cannibal. Car uh, carnivore uh, fungi. <laughs> just became just became reavers. <laughs> <laughs> okay with that. Yeah, would you, be happy did you just say you'd be alright with being a reaver? <laughs> really? yeah. Well, haven't haven't we been over this recently? That that I've become, in, in, as I'm getting older, I I tend to identify with the bad guys in movies and games and stuff more. Ben, <laughs> they it's eat probably people. a slight difference in identifying with the bad guys and identifying with Reavers. Yeah, I a mean, different. They eat people and where they but it's, it's because they're messed up though, isn't it? It's because they're they're forced to by the alliance. So because of that, the planet thing, Miranda. Spoilers, everybody. Sorry, spoilers for Serenity. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you hadn't seen it 15 years ago. <laughs> God, that was a while ago. Yep. Oh, no. Have you seen the original crew for Firefly? Like They, would, they are they would... so they, they could Awful. They couldn't go back if they wanted. No. Nope. Complete. It'd be uh, an experience. Cause they, they even look older between Firefly and Serenity. That was only a few years. Imagine how they look now. Well, that's a construction ship. That's why. Um, Need mining outposts. All right. Now I'm actually picking my own research for a change. Nice. 
That is it. Well, how, how badly did the AI mess up your little nation there? Um, it's not in great shape. There's a lot of little weird things like these random transports that are all in space for no reason at all. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good place to be. Not sure space. what they were doing with this, but okay. Everybody likes space. Space is cool. Like, hey, we have transports. We have thousands of soldiers sitting in space for no reason at all. Oh. Sucking up energy credits. All right, well, that's certainly a way to go. There's a nice uh, Gaia world here, but it's a Gaia world, which is... Yeah, don't, don't touch that. <laughs> touch it, touch it. It's okay. It. Nothing will happen. I'm sure it's fine. You're Canada. Nothing bad could happen to Canada. <laughs> True story. I'll totally back you up oh. against the Fallen Empire. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know if I really trust you. <laughs> Just like I helped you out at Uasagawa in Japan. Right. <laughs> well, my research is a little better now. That black hole held. Construction complete. Mm -hmm. Chemical bliss in archaeological lab is what I'm working on right now. Making. I'm. I'm just gonna dope up my my slaves. Dope up my slaves. So that, that's what I'm thinking. Is I'm just going to put them into some like like chemically induced like zombie state. Sounds good. And then infect them with the. Uh... I like the cut of your jib. Uh, if anybody who's listening don't 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 know what we're talking about when we're saying the the, the cordyceps. The cordyceps are is a genus of of fungi that take over insect bodies. They they like implant themselves under the exoskeleton and then co-opt the nervous system and basically turn them into like zombie bugs that do what they want they sound like fun guys ha 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 get out i feel dirty <laughs> i feel dirty now like uh, there's a species that um infects ants and they make the ants uh go to uh like the tops of plants where the fungus will have like uh you know a good access to to like the breeze to and sunlight to, and things like that to spread their spores out and then they just clamp their jaws into the, the plant and die there. <laughs> it's cool. Such, such a happy thing. And that's who I'm role playing right now. Who wants to be an ant? <laughs> Research complete. No, All these you. things. There's so many things that are normally upgraded that are not right now. And I'm like, AI, <laughs> what are you? What are you? Why? Why? Oh, you've got a alpine planet. I mean, you don't know what kind of planets I like. Shoot. Oh, my. I can get more shipper doodles. Nope, that's not what I wanted. There's a difference between the words cruiser and construction. All right. Oh, do you have a bunch of allies, people next to me? I don't know if they have any allies. Uh, apparently, they have a defensive pact with me and the Lorango hege hegemony, hegemony. What does this do? What is this chemical? Uh, uh, allows us to set the chemical bliss living standard. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you you just sent the living Drug standard where you give people. It's like equilibrium. You just give people happy like. pills. Equilibrium is a good movie if you've never seen it. Not you, Roche, I know architecture. You the, the artisan Trevor offering me a gorgeous new type of architecture. I have to give him a thousand of each for a building. What? Uh, so what? Go... You don't understand. Go These archways, Special masterfully done. <laughs> I don't. Does anyone, yes. can anyone give? Can anyone give, give me some energy credits? And I will almost. If I can get to a thousand, I'll re return it in minerals. <laughs> Cybernetic for revolution. a building? No. I, I want to see what the building is. I want to see what happens. I can't afford it, and I can't. I don't. Doesn't seem like I can start a trade with anyone else. To oh, no, I can. Bliss. Okay. Oh, geez. It, it makes everything go down. Food, minerals, energy, unity. <laughs> it makes Everyone's them ha happy, right? <laughs> it makes everybody happy, but they just sit around eating Cheetos all day. That's all right. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be using that. That does not seem like a very good use of my, my resources. I guess I guess you could use that if like to prevent your slaves from getting uppity. If, you know, they get, <laughs> start, if they start getting pissy or something. Yeah, I've used that a little bit. But I mean, my slaves are, are pretty well under control, and taking a minus 60% to like everything, that's a big hit. Yeah. 
I got four factions with all four of my planets. Ask me how many factions I have in my in my hive empire. Zero because it is you're zero. Only, you're, you're, you're one individual basically. Yep. So fun. God damn it! Is it problem, Roach? No, there's other. Uh, fucking god, damn it! Forget me. Don't. <laughs> Don't worry about don't worry about anything. Everything's fine. Way ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Jibru insulted me. What is this? Jibru, no. Cruisers. I'm just gonna let this election happen. I'm gonna close my eyes. <laughs> let things happens. happen. Wait, my I may or may not have encountered, encountered a very uh, large uh, swarming hive species in a particularly rich star system. Yeah. A system that may or may not have 39 minerals in it. Ooh. <laughs> and uh, they may or may not be very powerful. So what was the name of your race again? Roach? Are you the Roachikins again? No. I just, just always assume you are. Special project complete. Hmm. Oh, I forgot this planet was the one with the hallucinogens. Oh, let's see. Well, everybody's pretty happy. Except for the slaves, but who cares about them? Except for those damn slaves. Yeah, nobody cares about slaves. Time to build the Galactic Stock Exchange. As we can. The Artisan Troop. Okay. Maybe they'll give you another building. That's a thing. Ooh, Purple Rain. We just found purple rain. Purple rain. Purple rain. Apparently, Usually... because it's purple rain, and we're having a minor renaissance in the Aldrafish art world. What? Prince. Wow. Prince has brought you new new wonders in life. <laughs> this rain is purple. Everyone's happy for ten years. Okay. Situation yeah, I'm fine crazy. with this. What's up, Terrence? Ships upgraded. Okay. Oh, we finished something. Okay. Um, oh, lost a few ships. Okay. So, who are you? Sapphire lurkers. I can kill you. All right, let's go kill them. And see if there's anything interesting in the system. It doesn't look like there is. But there could be. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, Magnetic Exploration. Special project complete. Hmm. Or gigantic skeleton. Or, or is it just a mountain range? I don't know. Uh, that's a long way off. Holy shit. Well, hmm. 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 You okay over there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have like one colonizable planet, and it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's like nine systems away by as the crow flies. <laughs> Do you have, is, it, is it even close enough to colonize? Uh, yeah, for the low, low price of 430 influence. Oh, that influence is easy. Uh, what, what track did we pick here? What was this? How many minerals a month do you guys get? 8. Ooh, 226. Ooh. What was the question? How many minerals a month? 
How rich are you and would 20, you like to brag about it? 23. Yes. That is I the make, question. I oh. make 23 minerals a month. Oh, you poor beggar. Yeah. Canada's got a bunch of them, but what are they going to do with it? Yeah. Take the Fallen Empire on. You can do it. I believe in you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, we're gonna have to wrap this up here guys yeah mm. so thank you for watching everybody don't forget to like comment subscribe if you have enjoyed if you'd like to watch any of the other perspectives you can find the links in the description below and we will see you all next time Bye-bye. see ya Bye. Bye.